Hey you guys, I've got another backtrack tutorial for you and today I'm going to be teaching you how to configure your wireless internet connection. I am using Backtrack 5 version R3 64-bit KDE instead of my typical genome version and the reason I'm using KDE is because I'll be presenting another tutorial shortly after this one on how to create window decorations and completely customize your desktop including adding widgets such as these over here. So let's get started on configuring our internet connection. So the first thing you want to do is open up your main backtrack menu. You go to applications, internet, and then you'll open up your network manager, which is WICD network manager. And once you have that open, you're going to notice that you have a wired network. Assuming you're running backtrack on a virtual machine as I am, if you're not, then you shouldn't have a problem at all if you have it as your sole operating system or as a parallel boot. So first thing we want to do is plug in our external USB network adapter and then once you've done that we're going to open preferences and you're going to need to type in your wireless interface name so to find that out if you don't already know it you'll need to open a new terminal you can do that by clicking this icon over here if you don't know the shortcut which I believe is standard command option T I changed mine to just command T once you have your terminal open you're going to type airmontac ng press enter and that's going to display a list of your wireless interfaces and you can see here mine is called WLAN 0 which yours most likely will be as well. So go ahead and close that terminal and type in your interface name. You'll press OK then you'll press refresh and you'll see here now it is scanning for wireless networks and as soon as it's finished here it goes it's displayed a list of access points. The access point I'll be connecting to is Hackspot First thing you want to do is click properties if you're using some sort of an encryption. You can see I've already have it configured here. You'll simply type in your key. Now you have some options here if you're using WEP or WPA, whatever you're using. Select the correct option, type in your pass key, press OK, press connect. And you can see here now the connection process is being executed. It'll take a minute to connect, but once it's done, you will have internet access. And I'll take this moment to point out to you that if you are using a virtual machine, you're going to have a wired network. And what that is, is when you use a virtual machine and your host computer, like right now I'm using a MacBook Pro, I do have a built-in wireless network adapter. However, virtualware doesn't recognize it as its own network adapter. So what it does is it creates a bridge sort of creates a virtual network adapter that's feeding off of your built-in network adapter. So that's why it's considered a wired network because it is essentially hardwired to your host computer. So your host computer almost acts like a middleman between your access point and your virtual machine. So now you can see down here at the bottom it says we have successfully connected to Hackspot and it also gives you the signal rating and your current IP address. So the IP address 192.168.0.12 has been assigned to my virtual machine. So that means now that we're using a wireless network adapter, our virtual machine is going to have a completely separate IP address from our host machine. Now if you're not using a wireless network adapter, your virtual machine is most likely going to be sharing an IP address with your host computer unless you go up to your virtual machine settings, go to network adapter, you have a few different uh, options here which maybe we'll get into in another tutorial. But now it's time to check our internet connection. I have Firefox installed, I suggest you do the same. We're just going to go to Yahoo and here it is. I successfully connected to the internet, I have internet connection. All right, let's see what Yahoo has to say about that. How to get a free internet connection. That is something I discussed in a earlier tutorial called how to crack web encryption using Backtrack 5. It's a cool tutorial, very easy to do. Check it out and have fun.